my friends, welcome to this week's tutorial. This week I'm talking to you about techniques that you can use to start playing any scale immediately. Um, these are going to allow you to pick up a hand pan or a rav and be able to create a song right away. So let's take a look at a couple recommendations for picking up any of these very quickly. So when you encounter a new scale, what I recommend doing right away is noting the first three notes and also the center note. So before you try to create anything on it, this particular one is a B Celtic Rav Vast II. So just those four notes total are going to change the chord progression of the scale. And granted, you're going to be using dyads and triads, but making note of these three can anchor your playing for the whole instrument. So, for example, if I play something using the first note, I can play that same thing if I'm using my left hand for that same melody on the second note. up to the third note. You can also use those three initial bottom notes to anchor chordal movements as well. Always using one of those three. second time through I'm playing the second and the fourth note. So if you're a player that's not as comfortable using both hands simultaneously, you can do the same thing using a root note and then anchoring a melody around that. So in this case I'll go Same thing I did before using the bottom note. And even in doing that, you can write. Uh, a whole variety of songs because you're still changing the movement of the progression simply by choosing a first note to begin on. Here's an example of what you can do just with those three notes and using the upper portion of the instrument as the melody section. So in approaching the Rav in this way, you can literally pick up any scale and figure it out because most of the time the progression is in the first one to four notes um, and that's what's really going to shift the feeling of what you're playing. And on some scales that means moving up, you know, major to minor. It's, it's typically a chord progression that ties the whole instrument together. So just by playing that center note, first, second, third, you can have an idea of what directions um, 
in terms of triads and dyads that you can move on that scale. The two exceptions to this, um, and it still works in some ways, are the B Anolio scale and the B Arabian Nights. Both of these scales still use those anchoring three notes, but there are other notes that are not um, octaves or fifths of the first set of notes. And on those, you need to be a little bit more mindful of what you're playing, but you can still manage to figure out the movement of that scale. So why learn this? Doing this allows you to understand sort of the emotional pull of that instrument. So if you're buying an instrument or trying an instrument for the first time, you can see if that resonates with you. Because it's hard to play a scale that you're not connected to. Um, so I definitely recommend approaching your rav like that if you're interested in songwriting or if you're improvising. Because just from alternating those root notes, you can change the feel of whatever progression you're playing. And this doesn't have to be using the right and left hand either. You could be hitting a note and then moving up and down the scale like I showed as well. So I hope this quick five minute tutorial gave you something new to think about. And I look forward to talking to you guys next week. Stay well.